Hi everyone, it's John and welcome to another cozy, charming, crazy real estate. Today I'm going to share with you 10 tips that I use to stay safe when showing real estate. Whether you are a real estate agent uh, showing property at an open house, taking buyers out to look at property, or you're a landlord showing rentals, you should be able to find at least a few of these tips that can help you stay safe out in the field. Tip number one is have a safety app on your cell phone. If you're a real estate agent, you've probably seen uh, some of the common ones. Red flag, real safe uh, agent, and safe showings are common. And uh, HomeSnap Pro is a uh, commonly used app that's used for scheduling and showing uh, properties. And it also has an emergency notification feature. Have an app on your phone, one that will send out messages, not only necessarily to your office, but also to friends and family, or even perhaps law enforcement. Those apps are usually customizable. You can send out emergency notices to whoever you need. So make sure to get one that works for you. Tip two, tell uh, someone where you're going, when you expect to be back, or if you're having someone come visit your home or property, uh, tell someone what time you intend to meet people uh, to do a showing, what time you expect it to be over. You might even want to set up some safety uh, checkpoints either before, during, or after that appointment. Just uh, perhaps a text or a quick call to let uh, that person know that uh, you have completed the showing and you're safe. Tip number three, never assume that just because someone is nice that they are harmless. Stay on your toes at all times and uh, follow the other tips that we're going to mention to make sure that even the nicest person is not going to be allowed to become a threat. Tip number four, before you have someone enter your home or before you get in a car with someone to go show them property, make a copy of their photo ID. Now, given technology today, it's actually pretty easy to do. We can just use our cell phone, take a picture, use a scanning uh, app, whatever you do. But before you go out, send that image to at least one person uh, who's going to receive it so that if your cell phone is taken from you, at least somebody out there has that information. Tip number five, use a buddy. Whether you're holding an open house or you're going out showing property or you're uh, uh, showing property, let's say a rental, where people are coming over and meeting you at your rental property. There's nothing wrong with uh, asking a friend to come with so that there is someone else there. Use the buddy system whenever possible. Tip six, never get into a stranger's car or allow a stranger to get into your car. This didn't used to be a problem. Agents used to just... Uh, jump into a car with their buyer, the buyers would jump into their car or van, and off they go to look at property. Well, it's just not a sound practice today. Uh, there's no uh, harm in saying, hey, uh, we're going to go out, we're going to look at property, you take your car, I'm going to take my car and meet them at each property. You can use the buddy system to come with you if you're comfortable with that. I do know real estate agents that uh, actually have uh, hired drivers that take them around and also provide an extra level of security. That's an option that you should also think about, but never get into a car alone with a stranger. Tip number seven. If you're going to have a cell phone with an app, uh, where you can do an emergency notification, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have that uh, cell phone either in your pocket, in a purse, in a briefcase, or somewhere where you cannot get to it within a second. That's about how long it takes for a bad actor to uh, come between you and your phone. So if you're holding an open house, you're out showing property, keep that phone in your hand. Uh, I know it's a cliche that uh, real estate agents always have their phone uh, near them, but part of it, uh, part of a good reason to do that is to keep yourself safe. So keep your phone in your hand whenever you're with a stranger. Tip eight, if you're an agent and you're showing homes for sale that are vacant especially, and you need to go to the lockbox, get the key, and then open the door for your buyer, it's always a good idea to ask that buyer to stay outside until you open the door, do a quick walkthrough, and make sure that there is nobody in the house. 
you're, you're of course looking to make sure there's no squatters in the house, which can happen. It has happened to me. But uh, mostly you want to make sure there's no one in there. Uh, just ask the buyer to wait outside while you do a quick walkthrough. And then when you've determined that, they're, that it's totally safe inside, you can have them come in. Tip number nine, keep a clear path between you and an emergency exit at all times. Now, real estate agents, uh, I've noticed over the years, they tend to lead, uh, let's say, a potential buyer or a potential uh, renter through the property, showing off the best uh, features of the property. Well, I prefer to do it actually the opposite way. I have a philosophy of, uh, of uh, direct, don't lead. And that means I'll stand out in the hallway and I'll urge the, uh, let's say, a buyer to go into a room rather than me going in first and inviting them in, I send them in to go look at it, thereby maintaining a clear path between me and an exit at all times. It's a good, really good way to make sure that you don't get stuck in a room that you can't get out of. And finally, tip number 10. When it's the showing is over and uh, let's say you're working with a buyer and you're going to lock up the house that you've just looked at, uh, turn off the lights and so forth. Ask the uh, buyer or client to please step outside while you go back inside and do all that. Uh, some agents I know will go inside, they'll lock the front door to make sure the buyer doesn't follow them in, and they'll go around and make sure all the lights are turned out, all the windows and doors are locked, it should be, and uh, then they return back to the front door, let themselves out, and lock the uh, front door behind them. Uh, same thing if you are a uh, leasing agent or a landlord. Uh, you might want to ask whoever is looking at the property to please stay outside while you go in and lock up. It's just another safety uh, precaution. I hope you found those tips helpful. And if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. If you found this uh, information uh, interesting, please hit like. And I hope you'll subscribe and join us on the next Cozy Charming Crazy real estate. Take care.